Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, uh, all we did was get some few encounters and build up our team a bit. And as a result, we have ourselves a team recap. We have Executor, Grass and Psychic type. His name is Eddie. Holding the Deep Sea Tooth, Docile Nature. Levitate is his ability with the moves Barrage, Hypnosis, Confusion, and Stomp. We have Molly, our Doug Trio, holding the Choice Band, Lax Nature, Insomnia for its her ability with the moves Mud Slap, Fury Swipes, Dig, and Magnitude. We have Lila, our Ground and Flying Gligar, Modest Nature, Pure Power is her ability with the moves Poison Sting, Faint Attack, Rolling Kick, and Quick Attack. We have. Uh. I'll introduce you last. We have Mrs. Puff, our Quillfish, Water Poison, Naughty Nature, Own Tempo as her ability with the moves Poison Sting, Hard and Minimize, and Water Gun. And lastly, we have Kirin, our Raichu, Mild Nature, Rough Skin as his ability with the moves Thunder Shock, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Thunderbolt. And yeah, this is Mama, who is not part of the team. She is just here to be our HM. Slave. Yeah. So once again, thank you so much for viewing uh, the series and the other videos that we have on the Falkley Rocket channel. Uh, this was meant to be a... Falkley Rocket was kind of meant to be like a project wherein like at least we can be productive. And yeah, I feel... I feel like I really am productive you know, doing this. And also I'm having a lot of fun. So there's that. So yeah. Uh, well first, let's actually, uh, what do you call this? Move on. Let's get this item over here. Big Mosh. And we have to fight all of the trainers here in this vicinity. And then after that, we are going to grind a fair bit, and then we'll move on to the next location. Hello. Uh, you have pure power? Yes, you do. You missed. Okay, uh, as long as you- as long as your poison sting doesn't hurt, then we're good. Gligar fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Infusion will two-shot it, probably. Yep. Oh yeah, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I've been- Binge watching this anime series at the moment called Shirobako. Uh, basically, what uh, it is, it's basically an anime about cute girls making anime. Which is kind of weird if I think about it because, you know, me being like an anime lover and all, I probably should have watched this earlier. But it's only like now that I'm like binge watching it blindly. And I gotta say, I love the show so far. Uh, I'm, st I'm still at episode. Well, I'm done with episode 13, but there are like I think 12 more episodes to go. And yeah, it's been a trip. Uh, it's kind of amazing, you know, seeing like how the process on how to make anime like works. Like you got your line producers, your animation supervisors, of course the director. And then you got people doing the cuts, and there's also the 3D department, and it's a boatload of work. So I kind of feel them. Well, not exactly. Well, I think I kind of like empathize with their pain. Uh, because, like, it makes it well known that the anime and manga industry really, really is a hard one to be remaining. The reason why they get into the anime and manga industry in the first place is because, well, they love manga. And yeah. Other than that, 
yeah, there have been, what do you call this, many, many seasonal shows uh, that I've been watching because considering some of them got delayed because they were supposed to air at spring, uh, the spring season, but got delayed because of COVID. So yeah, I'm watching like, uh, of course, ReZero Season 2, that's the one I'm most hyped for. Uh, because I have read the light novel up to arc 6, which is technically, I guess, like, ReZero Season 5 or something like that. As well as, uh, yeah, the, I, I don't know if it's the final season, but, uh, the last, like, season for the arc of Alicization. Yeah, Sword Art Online, Alicization, War of Underworld. And then there's also... There's Decadence, uh, an original anime directed by the director of Death Parade, I think. And animated by Studio Nut. Which Kyle cannot get over the name for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, Studio Nut's a good name for a studio. There's nothing wrong about it. And, yeah, right, uh... It's a very long title, uh, there's this certain anime that I'm watching that I'm also very hyped for, but it's a very long title. Uh, basta, basta, uh, that's my window, it closed for a moment. Uh, it's called Origairu, and the full, like, the full, like, name of it is Yahari Ori no Seishun Lovukamu wa Yes, I am a nerd. Uh, I think the light novel has ended. I haven't really, I haven't really read the light novel. Well, because, uh, well, I want to experience the whole anime for myself, and then after, probably after the anime is done, I, I can go ahead and, uh, excuse me, I can go ahead and read the light novel. I feel like the first time I got into like uh, light novels or web novels rather was with ReZero because I don't know I just felt bored and ooh a Crodon hello Boston I missed don't don't <laughs> okay it didn't use bubble beam thank you uh, anyway what was I about to say. Uh, yeah, it started with ReZero. I just got kind of bored, and since I, like, watched, you know, uh, I watched ReZero and all, and apparently it would, we didn't know if there would, if there was gonna be, like, uh, a second season yet, because, you know, it was taking so long, I think, like, four years. It's been four years since ReZero Season 1 aired. So I just decided, eh, why not, I'll read the web novel. Uh, there's a free translation right now on the internet. I read it, uh, it's from translationchicken.com, if I recall. And their translations are so good. And after I, re I read the, the web novel, I realized just how much depth they put into the characters. Like, because people have been hating on the main character of that series, uh, Subaru, right? And became like a pretty big deal because of like the oh I love Amelia stuff like that but honestly I find Subaru to be like an S tier character after like reading the whole web novel and to see his like characterization grow so for you viewers out there who are like not into ReZero yet you kind of like held it off or if you guys are watching the second season like me or for those who read the white the light novel the light, I can't speak. The web novel or the light novel, then you're in for a treat. Another thing is, I uh, with web novels and light novels, ever since I got into the ReZero one, I started uh, reading a lot of them. Next was uh, Jobless Reincarnation, or Mushok Tensei. I get myself in confusion. And 
Uh... And what do you call this? Uh... Yeah, Danmachi. Okay, Eddie. You know what? You know what, Eddie? Uh, you, t you take a back seat. You're hurting yourself too much. Yeah. Yeah, it was Mushika Tensei, Danmachi, and then Sword Art Online. Because, like, there were many people that told me that they... Oh, they didn't adapt this stuff correctly, or they sort of sped through it. Like, you miss so much character development, so much depth, and I'm like... You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna read it for myself. And they were absolutely right. Like, because of the light novel, I got to see Kirito in a whole new light. Other than like, oh, he's a uh, video game Jesus, able to one-shot everything and win just because he's Kirito. It's like the writers kind of pulled some stuff out of their butt. But I can see that Reki Kawahara knows what he's doing, and his writing has definitely improved ever since the whole Einkrad ending 7, 25 floors early shtick. You know, I just realized there really are a lot of trainers I have to battle here, don't I? This is gonna be a long episode to edit. I don't even know if it'll be like a long episode, period. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that because I have to stick to a certain time limit on what my videos are supposed to uh, be like. Uh, this is a Parasect, so I'm gonna switch to my only safe one. I should probably heal up my boy as well. Also, I'm so glad that Lila learned Slash. This is a really, really good move. That can crit, especially with uh, what do you call this? Especially with the pure power ability, which doubles her attack. Do I have any super potions? Yes, I do. Heal up, buddy. And then I'll switch. Haha! <laughs> you got predicted! Oh yeah, another series I got interested in is Spice and Wolf. And I kinda like the presence of the story, and... I have seen some memes, right? Where they compared uh, the fox girl in Spice and- or the wolf girl in Spice and Wolf, right? Hollow. To Raftalia, and said that Hollow is better. I can see why. But still, Raftalia is a babe. That's probably weird of me to say that, because considering, uh, well, I think she's a child in an adult's body. Uh, yeah, I'm still kind of mixed about that. Why does anime pull off this stuff? Why does anime pull off this kinds of stuff? Like, you got yourself a lolly goddess that's like 758 years old or something. And then there's this really endowed, like, woman that's eight. I think the second one really bugs me the most, because how can someone like this be 8? I may sound like a pervert right now, not gonna lie. Mm, I don't know. Is that done? Zatu, I am switching to... Yeah, I really have to train Kirin. At least we have somebody that can take care of water types and flying types. So this is really good. Why did I choose poison thing? Hey, you know what? I I'm sorry. That was a mistake on my part. Uh, perish. <laughs> 420. Man, there really are a lot of trainers here, huh? Then there's this guy, and this guy. I have never won before, and you never will. Sorry, old man, you're washed. I spoke too soon. Can I live? Does this, does this guy have outrage? Or dragon rage? 
Am I faster than this thing? Whoo! Let's go! We come in and clutch with that hypnosis. Thank you, Eddie, for landing it. No, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you can take it. Confusion will two shot here, I presume. Nope! Dragonite's dummy thick. Twister. Hypnosis again. Yes! Two in a row! Good job, Eddie! I gotta say, I've had a lot of misses with uh, Hypnosis. Can get pretty crap. Okay, thank you. You're still asleep. Level 29, baby. Dragonite down. Eddie grew to level 29. No moves. Slow King. Uh, sadly, I do not have a... Yeah, I do not have a grass-type move at the moment, Fred. Why does Eddie not learn Razor Leaf? That still boggles me to this day. A dig will kill? Hopefully. Use Drought. Yep, you were gonna throw either way. Please tell me that's dead. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Pie. Cool name you got there, man. Hit an item over here, I think? Rare candy. I'll take it. Free level. And there's another item over here. And it's a super potion. Yep. Oh, is this the guy that always wins? Yeah. I have never lost. Well, I never miss. Ah, uh, look. A palindrome. Stop. Confusion. That's not very effective, my good sir. You got the confu- Okay. Okay. I swear, if I hurt myself in confusion... Thank you. Sunflora. I'm staying in. That's, I think, special attack. Yeah, special attack. Effort value points. Just don't hit yourself in confusion. Thank you. Actually, why didn't they use confusion? Ooh, wow, scary. Thank you. My first loss. <laughs> no one can compete with the likes of I. Yes. Give me that healing. Hi, kid. I'm the best in my class. I train every morning. Good for you, kid. Another giraffe ring? Oh yes, right, right, right. There, are, there are other manga that I've been reading as well. Uh, to you viewers, some I may recommend. Uh, since I got, I got into Shirobako, right? But actually, I've uh, dabbled upon like two other mangas of like, I guess, sort of the same like interest. Uh, one of them is called Bakuman, in which case, they want to make an anime out of the manga that they create, right? And the main character has this crush on this girl who wants to become a voice actor, and he made a promise that he would make an anime that she would voice act in sort of like a weird love confession in a way. Sea dog. I am going to... You know what? Opportunity to switch train. Let's go. Please do not have pursuit. Or any trapping ability, I swear. Thank you. 
I don't know how much experience this will give me, not gonna lie. Stun Spore. So you're gonna be annoying, uh -huh. I'm still faster than you. Yeah, so one is, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Bakuman. That's the one I was talking about. And the second one is Act H. Uh, basically, it's like the main character is a child who wants to be an actress. And I never thought a shonen about someone who wants to act would go so far. And that it would interest me so much. Like, I'd rate it highly than other shonen. Like,. I'd rate it higher than 7 Deadly Sins, just saying, but that's just my opinion, you know. Uh, is that it? Nope, yeah, that's the last guy. I don't see no cables, man. Yeah, but those two manga are really good. Give it a read if you are sort of interested in it. I farted, I farted again. Eh. Why am I gassy? This guy has recovered. I'm gonna have to hypnosis this guy. He got his Porygon. Porygon 2's design is cute. He duck. Or it duck. Because it, it has no gender. Also, I swear, like, the weather is very hot. No matter how many times you take a bath. Like, there's an electric fan, like, to the right of me, right? You probably kind of noticed from, with, like, my shirt kind of flowing in some episodes. But they always put it at 2 and it's pointing straight at me. And even then, it's still hot. Like... I'm sweating, still. This weather is insane, I tell you. Okay, now that I've faced all of the trainers, it's time for me to move on, heal my mons, and go on a little training spree. So, I will do just that and, well, I'll skip to all of, like, the interesting parts. What? Don't die! Mm, you have pursuit! You had pursuit after all. Uh, God bless your soul. Fury Cutter! Okay. One heart attack after another deceptile, I swear. Yes, get freaking confused. You don't understand. Fury Cutter is a quad effective move. It is a bug type, meaning it's super effective against grass and psychic. That's what makes it scary. And Pursuit, when you switch out, it does double the damage dealt if you switch. Oh my gosh. If we lost Kirin that way, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd just be mad. You know, get out of here. You deserve that. Oh my gosh. This again gives me a heart attack. Eddie's level 31. Any new moves? Egg bomb. Don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. It's 100 power, 75 accuracy, normal type. I guess I'd get rid of barrage. Why not? It's a 100 power move and it sometimes lands. Hop it. I'm gonna switch and then heal. That's what I'm gonna do. Huh? 
they're gonna give me a heart attack. Okay, hopefully that tackle doesn't do much. It used that support. And electric types can get paralyzed in this gen. Before, or well now they don't, but that does 10. Why does that do 10? Now hopefully this will do much more than it did. Tackle. Okay, as long as you don't crit, we're fine. Other shock dead. Hearing gains XP. Hopefully you level up from this. No. Nope. Take what I can get. I'm gonna heal. I don't feel safe. I'll get back to you guys if something else interesting happens. Okay, so we grinded a whole ton, and now Kyrian over here is level 28. I am also thinking that I would probably give the Deep Sea Tooth to Kyrian, because Kyrian is going to be our special attacker from now on. And then Eddie will just be there as like an all-around mod. So I'll make him hold the Lax Incense so that there will be a chance where moves can miss. And actually, let's give this rare candy to Kirin. And Kirin is now level 29. Apparently, uh, I totally forgot this, but... Uh, Executor and Raichu cannot learn any more moves. Like, legit. Uh, they can only learn moves from TMs. Uh, oops. And TMs, uh, speaking of TMs, I may have done an oopsie. Um, there is a certain guy that you can talk to in Viridian City. Right? Viridian City, where you can actually, uh, well, there's, in Viridian City, there's a tree that you can cut, right? And in that is a guy that will give you a TM. Actually, wait, why, why am I even here? L let me just go there real quick. Right, uh, totally forgot. We can also cut this tree down in Pewter City. I completely forgot we can do this. Yep, thank you. I will hold on to that for our encounter soon. We can use the old amber as a token to get our encounter. And now we go back to Viridian City. Hi, right, we are now here and we talk to this guy. <sighs> what was the toast left in the sun? I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream. And I learned how to eat dreams. Ooh, this is so spooky. Let me teach you a Pokemon so I can forget about it. Alright, it's a Dream Eater. Uh, wait, so Lila and Eddie are able to learn it. What move is this? Headbutt. Mm. Which do you think is better? Yeah, which do you think is better? Uh, should I keep Slash for Lila or should I get Headbutt? Headbutt has a chance of making it flinch. Actually, I can just get rid of Fiend Attack altogether because, uh. Yeah, because Fiend Attack doesn't do anything for him. So, I'ma just do this. I mean, headbutt's kinda useful, I guess. I'll take what I can get. Alright, and let's go back to Vermilion City. 
And we are back. I just had to kill my Pokemon for a bit. And also registered the bike. So now we can actually go ahead to Cerulean City now and do what needs to be done. There's a lot of trainers that we gotta fight. And here we are. We go through this thing. Oh my lord. I totally forgot the amount of battles I had to do this episode. I'm probably gonna have to apologize to Kyle and tell him that this episode will be kinda long. Like 40 minutes. Because there's a lot of stuff to put into here. Hi, Weezing! Uh. Please die in one shot, I have the deep C2. Thank you. Kieran with Thunderball is amazing. Coffin. After wheezing, they're coughing. Good for you, I guess. It got less worse. Kirin is level 30. And then Kirin levels up very fast. And Deli Bird! Hello, I haven't seen you in a while. And we can get two encounters in this route as well, which is a good thing. Encounters are always good. He, yeah. Let's go down. I think this is a TM? Fury. Where are all the good TMs at? Let's fight this hiker. I keep getting trash. Why is that? The only good moves I got were like from the move tutors. That's a dead Omanite. Sorry, Lord Helix. A skitty. Hello, skitty. Goodbye, skitty. This is gonna be grueling. I already know. Uh, there's an item over here as well, right? Yes. I'm just gonna fight this hiker and get it over with. I don't wanna, like, go fall or whatever. Gloom. That is a switch to Eddie. Only he has the super effective moves to... Really? Why oh, you gotta be like that, man? You're out here wasting my antidotes. That's a dead loom. Marie. You know what? Let's make Eddie stay in. Let's make him, like, level 32 already. Poison's fine. You live? Amazing. Marie is sort of thick. I can't believe Marie lived that. Stop. So we. Please let her. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? And I should have shared the XP to Raishu then. You aren't gonna level up. What kind of. I'll just heal you as well, for the heck of it. You never know what melee we may run into. And the item is a tiny mushroom. I'm not really getting lucky with this randomized items, man. Oh, thank you for complimenting my good-looking Pokemon, my mind. 
my boy. Nose pass. Thunderbolt will kill here, 100%. Yep. And then 577. Kirin level 31. Slack off. I'm scared. Because this slack off does not have true one. Or, or what am I saying? That's slack king, not slack hawk. Why my egg? Why my egg brain? Big square brain, I mean. Uh, my window keeps opening and closing because of the pressure of the wind. Okay, so egg bomb is a totally useless move. I'd rather stick with stomp. How did egg bomb not do that much? It's a hundred power move. Out like a light. This man really quoted sicko mode on me. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of trainers. Why are there a lot of trainers? Diana! Oh, you had Trace. Dead Sidra. Okay, and an Oddish, I'm going to switch to Mr. Eddie. And Confusion. Oddish's design looks weird in Sprites, it's just two red dots and a tiny mouth. Just... Oddish is just like... Freaks me out. Okay, uh, first encounter is. Hey! Hey, hey, that ain't dupes! I kept encountering Typhlosions, but not Quilavas! I think. Someone pointed out to me in the comments if this is actually dupes. I totally forget if it is. Uh, well, uh, first things first, weaken the thing. I hope to god that a water gun won't kill. Actually, it might... Uh, yeah, let's go to Eddie, let's go to Eddie, let's go to Eddie. Okay, it already has Ember, so we won't need... We won't have any trouble. You missed, okay. Small screen. Oh my gosh. Thank you for landing the Hypnosis. Now I can easily switch to... What's not very effective against fire? Fire itself. Grass. Okay, poison sting, do your job. I don't want to accidentally poison the thing. Okay. This will do... Okay, and you woke up, okay. Okay, this will be a strenuous process. I'm just going to skip if I ever caught this thing or not. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> we got Kulava. We finally got ourselves a starter to the team. Ha! Huh. At least I hope he is. Otherwise, I probably wasted my time. But I shall call you... Yeah, I'm gonna call you Nitro. Ah, uh, that was such a good encounter. 
And if ever it doesn't work out, then I'll uh, probably sacrifice my old amber for it, honestly. Because I can use it as a token, right? Hello, Loudred. Welcome back. Sorry I put you in a box. But you were not needed at all. You can go up. There are so many trainers! It's gonna be a very, very long episode. I totally forgot that there were this many trainers in this part of the game. Blossom. Hello. Don't have stun spar or anything, please. That irritates me. Commentator's curse. Ah. Uh, uh, let's go. Lila, don't stun spar again. You have magical leaf. Okay. Slash. Critical hit. Thank you very much. I will take that. Seeking. Uh, that is an insta switch, my guy. Wait, does Seeking get horn drill? I'm worried if he does. Okay, that's just for an attack. That does a lot, though. Jeez. For a level 24, doing like 20 plus damage in one hit? Maybe it's because Kirin just does very weak defenses. Yeah, I don't know if you can call them bugs, pal. Right, there are many other encounters over here. <laughs> This is gonna shape up to be a very long episode indeed. So much healing that's gotta be done as well. Do we have any more? No, we don't. Okay, yep, full heal. Oops. Full heal ought to do it. Okay. Yep. You're taking the rock tunnel. Yeah, so that's where we're going. The Rock Tunnel. That's after I face all of these freaking trick. You have four Pokemon. You have four Pokemon. Uh, this is gonna be such a grind. Oh man. Oh yeah, if I were to go back on the topic of anime from like what I talked about like probably 10 to 20 minutes ago or 10 to minutes before the vid, if you rewind a bit I mean, I've also tried watching the very, well, I can call it trashy, right? Uh, freaking The Misfit of Demon Academy, you know, very overpowered main character, gets Kissed in episodes 1 and 2, you know. I mean, I'm still. I don't think I'm gonna watch it ever. Because I don't even know if I'm gonna stick with, like, the 3 episode rule for that one. That anime truly ain't for me. I'm Isekai trash, not fantasy trash. Or bad fantasy trash. There are a lot of good fantasies out there. But actually, this is the same route, right? Yeah, isn't this the same route? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, it's this... Yep, it's the same route, this is Route 9, so... That patch of grass I can't really go to. Get an item. A soft sand! That, my friend, is better! <laughs> than the freaking choice band that I have for Molly. That way, Molly can use all their moves. Yes. 
And then I can give the choice band to Lila and make her, her become even more uh, become more of a powerhouse. And there's a trainer over here. Don't you dare patronize me. If anything, please don't annoy me, because I want to get through this episode quickly. Uh, why they click thunder shock? Hopefully it kills. Oh my goodness! Amazing. 852! Does Clamperl really give that much EXP? Alright, you know what? I'm skipping this for the meantime. Let's just get those encounters or whatever in the next episode because I don't want to go over time. So, thank you once again for watching my episodes. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in. And thank you for the support, again, that you've been giving on this channel. Uh, it truly is amazing. And yes, as per my announcement in um, Instagram, I will be posting these episodes uh, two times a week so that we can get through these series quicker and so that you won't really have to get bored just waiting one week for another episode. And since it's Pokemon, you know, it's probably for the best. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all next time. What did I just do? <laughs>